Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. I am Kat, the Nurse Flipper. If this is your first time here, this is a reseller's channel. I show what I find out thrifting, garage sales, estate sales, online auctions, things like that to resell on eBay for profit. So today is going to be a what sold video. We do have over $500 going out on eBay today. So I will show you that and I'm going to show you a little bit of organization that I did yesterday and let's get to it. guys so here's a little before this is what was formerly known as my dining room table so there's a ton of inventory here I did buy those storage totes um, that's the trash box and hopefully we can get this cleaned up one more little update I can now see my table which I haven't seen in forever either so yeah making progress making progress so we also have that's my shipping area but the top of this desk and underneath is all inventory as well all right so the top half we have a desk i haven't seen a desk in forever and the shipping stuff is a little more organized um there's some boxes i still have to do the bottom hopefully i'll get that done later today or tomorrow just wanted to update you guys but the top half's pretty all right guys, so first up, we have this Patty Divers manual. manual. Um, this I got in a box lot. I paid about a dollar a book and this one is actually the last one that I had and it sold for $13.49 plus shipping buyers $18.49 all in. And then up next, this was actually on the trailer the $50 buy that I bought which I need to finish going through um and this is the first thing to sell it's like a paper mache like a doll dress form um and it did sell for $36.10 if you remember I only paid $50 for everything on the trailer so pennies and I think shipping will be about 15 it's pretty light um so it might actually be only $10 so should be about a 25 to 26 dollar profit on that and then up next we have this cabela's longville so this one the hats i have an average i wrote it down here of two dollars and 59 cents in on each so this one is cabela's i did learn in researching this one's a really long bill um not sure if you can tell but it's like double the length of normal so we have $2.59 in and it sold for $22.74 free shipping, which will be about $5. So we will make about a $15 profit on this. And then up next, sorry, I moved where I'm sitting. So my computer is now on the other side. So I have to get used to this. Um, up next is actually a bat. We have not sold one in a while. We do have quite a few. So this one is a Louisville Slugger TPX. I paid about a dollar for this. I bought a whole bunch of bats, like 15 or 20. And this one sold for $11.40 plus shipping. To ship these, you can get free um, triangle boxes. I think they're for like plans for houses. And um just wrap them in some bubble wrap on the handle and they fit in there perfect and those boxes are free so that one will make about a nine dollar profit on it and then up next we do have an egg this is an Avon egg um, and it is in the box as you see I paid about a dollar this sold for seven dollars and thirty four cents plus shipping on the same free shipping that would be a horrible deal so it is still in the foam it is still new and the buyer is $13.33 all in this buyer actually wanted a plate but they offered me too low and then um they are getting this is first bus it's really light 
and the shipping is would go to priority and they did not like the cost of the priority shipping so they just got the egg and then up next selling christmas ornaments in june um if you do not know already christmas by krebs is a great brand to pick up i paid less than 50 cents for these at an estate sale it was the last day so i got a whole tote full for five dollars and these sold for ten dollars and six cents plus shipping the buyer is nineteen dollars and fourteen cents all in. And then up next, we have a necklace. Um, this one's really pretty, you can see there. And I have about $2 in. This one sold for $16.25, plus shipping the buyer's $23.49 all in. This one was marked Sparkling Sage, if you can see there. Um, so it took about two months to sell, so it's not too bad. And that'll be about a $14 profit on that. And then up next we have a mother hat. This one is Walker's K Bahamas. Same thing, $2.59 in. And this one sold for $25 free shipping, which will be about um, $5. So we'll make about a $17 profit on that hat. And then I also have found this hat in my lot and I am going to send this out to Harry Humson. So if you haven't watched Harry, he's great and really knowledgeable on like vintage antiques and collectibles. So this one says hooked on Harry's seafood bar and grill. Um, and I messaged Harry and asked if he wanted it and he said sure. I was supposed to send him a shirt but it was the wrong size so I did not get to send him that. And then up next are some jeans these are gloria vanderbilt um these are a size 18 they're white and the white are actually almost all sold out which is great so these sold for 17 dollars and 54 cents plus shipping the buyer is 32.49 all in hey. hi no. would you like to say hi Say hi. You got to say hi. Uh-oh. Say, uh-oh. Say hi. Wave hi. Okay, go. So this shirt is from the estate hall. This one is pretty cool. The brand on this is art cake art grape um and we have an average of eight dollars in on the shirts this one sold for 32.49 free shipping so shipping will be about five dollars on this and then we have eight in, so it'll be about an 18 dollar profit on that one and then up next we have this really cool tommy bahama shirt this one is embroidered. It says Paradise Lounge. So I'll show you guys that. Um, this one is an XXL. So the buyer sent me an offer of $80 on the shirt. So I only have eight n So that's a good offer, but I knew that the shirt was worth more. And if you see, I'll try and show you guys the sailfish and stuff see the trees so they're really cool imprints on these um so i was tempted to accept that 80 dollars, but instead i counter offered them at 103.45 and they accepted so that one will be a little over an 80 dollar profit on the shirt after shipping the higher cost shirts do go priority mail so that'll be about eight dollars and then the eight into it. So not too bad with that one. And then up next is five CVS nasal mask. Those sold for $25.64. They are $7.50 to ship. And then our cost is 40 cents. So about a $15 profit on those. And then up next, this is cool. It's kind of cheap. Um, sorry for all the sounds here. Um, so this was actually, it's a little 
wind chime. It was in a lot of beach stuff and I only paid a couple bucks for the whole box. And this wind chime sold for $16.54, free shipping. But as you can see, it's pretty compact when it is down. So it will go out first class and um, cost maybe $5. So I'll make about a $9 profit on that. And then up next, and this goes to show you guys with um, the ceramics, you don't have to have all of the pieces. So this is just the top to the butter dish. I did not have the bottom and it sold for $7.50 plus shipping. The buyer's $16.20 all in. I'm less than a dollar in. So this is going to be about a $14 profit on this. And up next are these two little light bulbs. This is stuff you would find in the garage at estate sales or yard sales. You might find them at thrift stores too. So they're two just little Osram halogen bulbs, um, less than a dollar in. They sold for $12.99 plus shipping the buyers $18.02 all in on those. And then next we have another shirt. This one is a really cool, this is a redfish shirt. It is Guy Harvey. You can see the cold print there. And this one sold for $38.99. Free shipping. Shipping will be about five. And then um, I have eight in, so 13. So close to a $20 profit on this shirt. And as you guys know, if you watch my estate sale video, it's only been a little over a week. So I did, um, want to update you guys real quick before I go on to the last couple of sales. So I have sold so far $350 in button ups, $38 on t-shirts, and we still have over 70 t-shirts to list. And then we've also sold $40 in hats. So all in on the dress shirts, I was $487. So I only need $130 more to break even on the dress shirts, which if a good one sells, um, we only need like one or two more, but the regular ones only three more to break even. And I had 55 and we've only sold about seven and we're already almost a profit. So the t-shirts I actually um, had 416 in. I'm at $38, but I still have 70 to list. And then the hats, because they were so cheap, I only have 150 into over 50 hats. And we've made 40 so we'll only need $110 so three or four more hats to sell and we will be in the profit on those so not too bad for an update on the estate sale and then hey guys so I am gonna put the Tuesday sales in here uh, this is what sold on Monday it actually was a really slow day we only have 139 going out on eBay and then also $18 over on Poshmark so I think I showed you this earlier in the video. This is a ski naked Aspen pin. I got these on the hats in the estate sale. Really did not plan on um, getting them. So nothing into them. This one sold for $10 free shipping. Shipping will be about three. So after fees, we'll make about $6 profit on that. And then up next is this lot of four. These are um, sheet sanders. These I got from my friend Pepper. They weren't selling for her locally. Um, I actually just talked to her and might go pick up some more. Um, so these four sold for $17.99 free shipping. Shipping again will only be about $3. We'll put them in a little padded envelope and we'll make about a $12 profit on those. And then we also have these shoes. Um, these are Worldwide Sportsmen. They are some water shoes. I did buy these for Brad from an auction. I think I paid $10, but um, he did not like them. So these sold for $23.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $36.29 all in on those. Up next is this little AT&T. This is a flip phone. Um, we did get this, I believe, at the little local thrift store for about five bucks. Um, and it sold for $64.79 plus shipping. The buyer is $73.36 all in. And then that's it for eBay over on Poshmark. I did sell this little purse hanger. This wasn't a lot from Donatella Bodolino, about $2 into it. It sold for $18 over on Poshmark. So I will make about $12 on that. And then let me show you guys these last two things. This is one of my favorite things to sell. I don't find them super often 
So this is a vintage like 1970s. It says it's the hand aid box. Um, I only have a couple dollars in. The buyer paid $21. So this is really cool. It's a vintage Old Spice hand lotion and soaps. Never used. Um, shipping will probably cost me about 10 and it was free shipping, but I'll still make like eight bucks. And I just think that's cool. I already sold a lot of stuff that was in the box that I got that in. So I'm in the profit on it. And some of your vintage like soaps and lotions can sell super high. So keep an eye out for those. And then a blast for these two bowls. These are John Deere bowls with the wheat trim. The wheat trim seems to sell for a little bit more. I paid a dollar a piece, so I'm two dollars in. They sold for $13.16 plus shipping, so we'll make about a $10 profit on those. And that is the end of what sold. I do appreciate you guys watching. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I forgot one other thing. Um, so that was all in the main store on the Nurse Flipper store. We only had one sale, which was this little pin. So it is a Florida sea council veil 1995 pen so on all of the hats we actually found over 40 pens so i think the pens might end up being worth more than the hats so when you're at garage sales and estate sales look on the hat for pens because this guy had hats all over i wanted to show you guys some i pulled them so this is a really cool aspen hard rock cafe and then here is another Aspen one. Um, Ski Naked Aspen. This guy had some really cool pens. I'm just showing you guys a few. This one is from Hard Rock Maui. Woo! The surfboard surfing away. Um, Hard Rock Cafe Maui. And then he had this antique or antique vintage bike week 1996 pin and this one was on one of his harley hats and this one the cool thing is it is actually sterling silver um so really super cool i do have this up on auction on the nurse flipper store but i just want to share with you guys and point out that sometimes hat pins are worth more than the hats so check them i'll see you guys next time Mom. really Uh, 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 uh,